Hi guys, this is Eric from Pro Rebuild with a much needed update on our rebuilt pass locks. Uh, I kind of want to go over some things I've learned, some, some information uh, that I've gained over the last 12 months of selling these. Uh, I kind of want to go over some points of common uh, common misdiagnosis things that I have seen and hopefully this will help you get your vehicles back on the road and quicker as well. So first things first, uh, these are the pass lock modules. They are the security modules in, they're equipped to 98 to 2000 old body style half ton trucks and SUVs, uh, three quarter and one ton up till 2002. They also come in Savannah vans and Express vans from 98 to 02, as well as 98 and 99 Chevrolet Astro and GMC Safari. Now, this is an obsolete part. You can't buy it at GM anymore. Uh, for whatever reason, GM thought that this part was, there's no demand for it. And we have proved otherwise. We have sold over 600 of them uh, in the last 12 months. And we have a very low failure rate with how we've fixed these and our, our repairs. And I wanna, and I wanna kinda get into uh, how our tester works that I've built. Uh, it uses some proprietary software and hardware that I developed. Uh, it has a very, very, very low failure rate. Uh, we have very few returns that are actually bad. Um, and I uh, kind of want to talk about how, show you how this works. So basically this emulates an entire vehicle here. I've got an ignition switch and this is one of the pass locks commonly known as VATS modules uh, or pass locks. Uh, it, it's, there's a bunch of different terminology for it, but it, this, is, this is the unit. So. We have, you can see we have power here. We're gonna plug this unit in. And we have a solid yellow light. Uh, now, in a, with a good unit, a good rebuilt unit, uh, this would be flashing. Or with a bump of a key, this would flash. Now, this one is not good. This is uh, probably a core return that we received in the last few months. Uh, it has not been fixed yet, or it is not fixable. We get a lot of cores back that are not fixable, which is why, unless it is a part number ending in 6.5, we are no longer accepting cores back. And I'll show you, these are two cores that came back. As you can see, this one has actually been on fire. It got so hot, it scorched the board. And this one, this is what they normally look like when they're bad. Uh, it's got so it's it's gotten hot. The leg of these of this big chip here has has burned through the coating on the on the IC board. Uh, and uh, this is a bad unit. I would not try to fix this. I would not send this to somebody, even if it works, because it's just a matter of time before it stops working. Now, just because the board looks good, and I have other, there are other people out there that are selling these that claim that the board looks good, so they're good. That doesn't mean anything. And I'll show you. See, as this is not working, I'm gonna pull this apart, and I'm gonna show you that the board on this looks just fine. However, it does not work. And pop these clips. Open this unit right here. As you can see, this has no black marks. There is no, no signs of heat or anything wrong with this particular unit. So aesthetically it looks fine, but as you can see in our tester, it fails. So let's show you a one that does work. Um, give me one second here. Hey, hey, can you hand me one? Throw one of those up to me. All right, so this is one that has all the updated components, has had all the re necessary repairs to keep this working for the remainder of your vehicle's lifetime. And if you see the light is flashing, that means that this is communicating with the rest of the vehicle, that this can take the key relearn process, that there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. Again, just because the board looks good doesn't make it a good unit. I would. I would be very uh, weary of someone selling it as good without having a test, one, a testing rig or some kind of vehicle to test this in. Now, uh, every time you install one of these, you need to do the key relearn process. It's about a 33 minute process. You need to make sure that you have a battery charger on your vehicle to maintain at least 12.3 volts. Otherwise, the key relearn may not take and you'll be wasting your time. What you wanna do in this key relearn process is once you've installed our module, you wanna turn the key and try to start it, let it, the starter turn for a couple seconds, and then leave the key in the on position for 10 minutes. At 10 minutes, you key off, you wait one minute. After that minute, you put it in the key, posi in the key on position without trying to start it. You let it go for another 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, you again key off for one minute and key on for 10 minutes. After that last, that third 10 minutes, 
you key off and then try to start the vehicle. Uh, if the security light has turned off, that means that the vehicle is ha that the, has learned the security, has learned the key, it has learned the pass lock, and it, the vehicle will start if this is the problem. There are multiple problems with the system. This is just the most common. Now, if the light is on solid, no matter what you do, the pass lock module is bad. If the light blinks four times, three times, or five times, and then is on solid, your vehicle will not take the key relearn. You cannot get your vehicle to start. It, I don't care if you can communicate with the module, you, the, if it doesn't continue flashing for those 10 minutes, those three different occasions of 10 minutes, you will not get your vehicle to start. Now, just because the key, just because the light is flashing, doesn't mean that it took the key relearn. If the security light does not turn off and after your key relearn process of 33 minutes, the light is still flashing, there is a possibility that either your key or your or the pass lock sensor which is in the steering in the ignition switch could be bad you need to do a continuity test between this connector on the ignition switch and the engine control unit and the pass lock if you cannot do that uh, you cannot really diagnose this. Now, if your light is on solid before and then all of a sudden now it's blinking, chances are that the pass lock was the issue. I have seen very few trucks with more than one problem, but there's no law that says that there can only be one issue with, an is with a vehicle. So, that being said, I'm gonna talk about the warranty on these. We issue a lifetime warranty. At, during the first 60 days, if you want to return it, if your vehicle rolls over into a ditch, catches fire, hopefully this doesn't damage, uh, you can bring that. You can send this back to us and get a refund. Uh, if it stops working, we'll send you another one. After 60 days, if you want to send, if you have an issue with this, you can send this back, and we will send you out another one. All we require is that we get our original one back. Uh, this is good for uh, for whoever owns a vehicle. If you own a vehicle and you notice that it has one of our Pro Rebuild stickers on it, then you can do this as well. As long as I get a unit back that says Pro Rebuild on it, has our stickers, uh, I can send you one out. I keep one of all six part numbers in stock and that's what I want to get to next. There are six common part numbers that we see on these and it is absolutely imperative that you match them. And I know this is kind of a pain because they're not the easiest thing to remove. On the Safari vans, they're very easy, or on, excuse me, on the Savannah and Express vans, they're very easy to take out. On the trucks, they're a lot less easy to take out. And on the Astro and the Safaris, they are quite difficult to get out. Uh, you have to know your part number. There's no there's no way I can tell you what your part number is going to be. I will say that some of the bigger, heavier trucks in the 90, like the three quarter and one ton from 98 to 2000 generally end in a 6.5. Uh, the 98 to 2000 half ton trucks and SUVs generally use a 5.5 and the vans, the full size vans generally use a 7.5, but I've seen other numbers in there uh, and you have to match that number. If you do not match the number, this will not work. Same thing goes in the Astro vans. There's two different part numbers, and I have actually encountered one part number that I've never seen before ending in 015. Uh, I've only had one. Uh, I sold that unit, and if you have that unit, contact us, and there's a chance that we'll be able to fix it. It will not interchange with any of the other units that we have here, and I'm sorry that we don't really stock those, but that's just, we've sold, we've had over a thousand of these come in, and we've only had one of that part number. Now, the reason we're not taking cores back, as I alluded to, is these are getting so blown up that I do not feel confident that these are going to last a lifetime of your vehicle. Whether I can get them to work on the bench is one thing, but if I can't stand behind the product, if I can't stand behind this for in two years, in five years, in ten years, I have no interest in selling this to you. So we are only sending out the nicest units that have been updated with the nicest parts. Um, that's pretty much all I can tell you. Uh, if you have uh, if you have a, a vehicle that has a part number that we haven't we don't have listed currently, uh, just contact us. We'll see what we can do. I'll look into it. Uh, every time I find something new about these, it's kind of a, a six-hour endeavor to figure out where it came from, why it was equipped with that, and so I'm on the phone with GM, and they don't don't really tell me too much. So. Uh, as far as uh, how to buy these, you can call us, uh, you can Google our, our, our name Pro Rebuild, Pro Dash Rebuild, or you can go on eBay and just buy one. We offer express shipping. Uh, 
All of our units are $149.99 except those ending in 6.5. And I'm sorry, but those are $199.99. I can't get enough of them. I often run out, uh, but I usually will have something on hand uh, just in case you have a bad one uh, that, you know, just to make sure that I can support my warranty claims should there be any. Uh, that is the only one that is more expensive. All the other ones are the same price. Uh, we ship out every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, by 3 o'clock. If you pay at $2.59, it will go out that same day. We, all, we ship priority mail, but we also have the option for express. You can, you can see that option when you check out. Uh, if you have any questions that I haven't covered in this, uh, don't, feel, don't feel like you can't get a hold of us. You can reply in our YouTube video, or you can call us, or you can send us a message on eBay. Either of those ways will get a hold of us. We'll probably respond within 24 hours. Um, that's pretty much all I can tell you about this unit. If uh, any of you um, feel the need that you need any more information, you can message me and maybe we can get and talk. We can talk about this and I can help you try to diagnose your vehicle. Anyway, hopefully I shed some light on this subject and I wanted to give you guys an update on what has happened over the last year. Have a good day, guys.